Today we bring you Reconstructing Spirit Hill. Painting cabinets is a difficult task because the paint that you're going to use is, is it going to be a self-leveling paint, which means it's a paint that essentially should hide most of your brush marks. Um, you also need to use a paint that is a harder paint than your typical high gloss paint that you're using on trim walls because the cabinets can scratch easily. So you want to use but the right kind of paint for this. Um, what I am actually using is Valspar Cabinet Enamel. Um, this paint isn't an easy paint to use. It runs very easily, but self-leveling paints tend to run. Um, the first thing you're going to want to do is take your cabinets apart. So as you can see right here, I've taken out all the drawers. I've taken off all the, um, the doors, and I've separated them from the boxes. Um, and the next thing you're going to do is you're going to start painting. Um, these cabinet pieces here that you see all have about four or five coats of paint on them. Um, I'm still going to do one more coat of paint on this side, but uh, in case I damage them when I flip them over, um, I'm going to do that very last. Uh, and I'm going to start painting the insides of these cabinets. Um, <clears throat> when using this paint, and I'm using my stepdaughter's paintbrush here, um, because it runs, you don't want to put it on very thick. You're just going to do thin coats and apply it as evenly as you can. And what will happen is, as this paint dries, it's going to kind of expand and level itself out a little bit. So um, you don't need to do anything to your cabinets when you're using this particular kind of paint. Um, it'll go right over the other finish. I like to take a little bit of a sand to these before I get started, just to help uh, that first base layer of paint stick a little better. But then after that, you're off to the races. And you kind of let the paint do the rest of the work. But as you can see here, as I paint, I'm leaving a lot of, uh, you can see where the, the bristles are, it's not covering completely. And that's okay, because you're going to do several coats of paint, the main thing is to try and keep your brush marks nice and even, and do everything you can to help the self-leveling paint process out. Um, but. This painting cabinet is a very slow and easy task. It just requires a lot of patience. And if you do it slowly and just put on light coats of paint after light coats of paint, you'll get a nice, even, smooth, hard finish. So again, this paint has a tendency to run. We don't want it to run. Um, 
I always hit these corners kind of first because you, I want to try and leave the paint as smooth as possible. So go ahead and knock these edges out. Paint kind of in there as best I can. And it'll, it'll run into some of those corners and help fill it in. But self-leveling paint is just not an easy thing to work with. Um, now, we're just putting this right over the original finish of the cabinets and putting it on as smooth as possible. And then we're going to let the paint do the rest of the work by leveling itself out as it dries. Don't have as many issues running when you're working on just a flat surface, but if you're painting the sides of the cabinets, you really need to keep your coats really light so that it doesn't run almost like that right there. And just do a lot of coats of this. And as you do the coats, the paint will kind of seep into its previous brush marks and help uh, basically eliminate any brush marks. When I paint the edges of the cabinets here, I paint them on the other side, the side that we'll be showing, so that if it does drip over a little bit, it's on the inside of the cabinet, like right there, and not on the surface that everybody's going to see when they walk into the room. The point of painting the insides of these cabinets so that they still look pretty even when they're open, and it's less obvious that they've been painted. You're not going to get the completely smooth finish that a manufacturer gets. Um, you could try and spray this paint on and you'll likely get it even smoother than when you brush it on. But, it's a thicker paint. Um, it's oil based, which makes it a little harder and less uh, able to be scratched. But that also means that it's thicker for a paint sprayer. So you need to make sure that you're using the right sprayer if you decide to go that route. But self-leveling, you should be able to get a real nice finish even with using a paintbrush. That's all we're going to do on our first coat of paint. Just let it have its uneven color. And it'll even out as we do more coats. <laughs> 